Hello everyone, this is Jason from Force Hammer Gaming, and for this video I'll be trying out something new for my channel, and that is painting some Warhammer 40k figures. So many years ago I used to be heavy into 40k, but I kind of fell off. But now I want to try and get back into this hobby, and I've decided to build a Space Marine army from the Dark Angels chapter. So for this video I'll be painting this Space Marine Intercessor, in of course the Dark Angels color scheme. Since it's been a while since I've painted a figure, I looked at several painting videos online for some tips. I doubt I'll be able to paint something that is parade ready at this point, but hopefully I'll get my figures battle ready so they look decent on a tabletop. So as you already can see, after assembling this model I primed it with Chaos Black Primer here. And now we're ready to paint, so without further ado, let's get going. So first off, I'll be dry brushing the armor of this model using Calban Green here. Uh, just FYI, uh, dry brushing involves dipping your brush in the paint and then wiping most of the paint off the brush. Uh, then I'll use vertical strokes to paint the model, which leaves most of the crevices still black, creating a shadow-like effect. I'll also be using this dome-tipped brush, which is specifically made for dry brushing. Next we'll be using Warpstone Glow, and we'll be using the same dry brushing technique as before, but uh, this time I'll mainly focus on the top parts of the model and the top parts of the armor. Uh, my goal is to give kind of a gradient effect from the lighter Warpstone Glow color to the darker Caliban Green color. For the next color, I'm going to be using a smaller dry brush, and we're going to highlight just the edges of the figure by dry brushing on some Moots Green. So next, we're going to be applying some Dark Angels Green Contrast Paint. A quick note about the contrast paint before using it, make sure to really shake the bottle for like 10-15 seconds to get all the chemicals in the bottle mixed up. Because if you don't shake the bottle, then if you try to use the contrast paint uh, without shaking it, the figure may come out really glossy and shiny. And this is something I had to figure out the hard way with an earlier model and I had to re-spray paint that model. Uh, also be sure to spread the paint out over the surfaces as evenly as possible so it doesn't pool in one place.
With the armor now painted, I'll be applying some Corvus Black here to areas such as the pistol holster, the gaps in the armor, basically most areas that are not meant to be green armor plating. Next, we're going to be painting the bolt rifle, and we're going to start by applying some corn red. Now we're going to apply some lead belcher paint here to the metallic parts of the rifle as well as the bolt rounds in the magazine as well as the handle of the bolt pistol sidearm here. Staying with Lead Belcher, I'm going to dry brush the exhaust ports on the backpack here and here. At least I think they're exhaust ports. Uh, this will help to give the appearance of dark and dirty steel. Next, since some unintended colors hit the bolt magazine here, I'm going to touch it up with some Abaddon Black, which I think is the closest color to the original Chaos Black primer. Oh, my apologies, just realized I forgot to paint the metallic parts of the helmet, so gonna add some lead belcher paint to that. Now, for the metal parts of the bolt rifle and the helmet, in my opinion, it looks a little bit too clean. And as such, I'm going to use a very watered down coat of Abaddon Black right here in order to give it a more dirty and used look.
Next, we'll be applying Wraith Bone onto the winged symbol on the chest, uh, the shoulders, the eyes, and a couple other areas on the figure. Next, I'm going to use some Skeleton Horde Contrast Paint to paint over the areas that I use Wraith Bone on. Again, because this is contrast paint, remember to give it a good shake before you use it. And finally, we're going to use some Blood Angels Red Contrast Paint in order to highlight the eyes. And here is my completed Dark Angels Intercessor. In my personal opinion, considering how long it's been since I've painted a model and that I was never really the greatest miniature painter to begin with, I think this turned out pretty well. It's not going to win any contests, but it's definitely ready enough to take on other players. That being said, I have every intention of looking up online guides and videos in an attempt to improve my technique. Anyways, that's the end of my video and I hope you enjoyed watching it. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and be sure to check out my other social media accounts in the description below. Until next time, this is Jason from Force Hammer Gaming, signing off.